Hi, my name is Sharon Bond. I'm with Dami Mass Dance. And in today's Kizomba tutorial video, we will be going over the lead steps for the Ladies Saida. So as I mentioned, today's video will be on the lead steps for the ladies Saida. I did do a video um, concentrating only on the follow steps and some variations. So if you want to check that out, please do. Um, today I will do uh, a regular lady Saida and one variation that leads can do while leading this step. So I'm going to start with facing the camera um, just uh, to start to uh, go over the five steps that make up the Lady Saida. So I'm going to uh, assume my couple position stance and we're going to start, the first step is stepping forward, but I step forward a bit on an angle so that gives me a little more leverage to bring the follow out beside me. So one and then step back Two, so now the follow is beside me and then you step back three now you notice that my torso is angled to where the follow is uh, at the side of me if you can imagine the follow there and um, then I step back four bringing the follow back in front of me and then tap five so in leading this move you're going to be using your torso and also this your right arm to um, pull the follow beside you so a little more smoothly one two three four tap five and then if you want to complete an uh, eight count you could do a basic three starting with your left six seven tap eight so that's a lady Saida with a basic three now some things to take note of that when you're doing this, um, some people teach this a little differently and that they teach the lead to stay forward. So one, two, three, four, five. I don't like that because I think you lose the connection with the follow and you should try to maintain um, a chest to chest connection uh, with the follow when you do this move. The other thing, when you are stepping back, so one, two, three, you stepping straight back, you're not stepping like this. And that might be the reason why some people are just not teaching the rotation of, of the torso because a lot of beginners will step out like this to try and get the rotation and you're just it doesn't look nice for one thing and you're um, it doesn't it ruins the flow of the step so to review one two three four five and four you bring the follow back in front of you tap five and then a basic three let me do it from this angle so one two three four, tap five, six, seven, tap eight. From this angle, one, two, three, four, tap five, six, seven, tap eight. Now, leads can also do a variation where they do a bit of a contratempo step or syncopated step, but you have to do it very smoothly so it doesn't interfere with the follow or make the follow feel like they have to do a syncopated step. So facing the camera, um, what you would do is you would step one and two the same, but then you would do and three, four, tap five. So a little more slowly. One, two, and three, four, five so you still bring the follow in on four in front of you and you're still tapping five six seven eight the basic three to complete the eight count so make sure that when you decide to do this that it's very smooth um, and you're not jumping 
So one, two, and three, four, five. So the follow will still do the normal steps that the follow does. I'll just review. So the follow will still do these steps while you do that syncopated um, step for the lead. So let me do it this way. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and maybe from the side. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, tap eight. So that's it for the lead steps and one variation that you could do with the uh, Lady Saida for the lead timing. So let's put those moves to music. So I hope you enjoyed that short Kizomba tutorial on the lead steps for the Lady Saida. For more information on the classes that we offer, please visit our website at demimasdance.ca and check us out on Facebook at Dance Studio and on Instagram at Dance. Thanks for watching.